So it's a wet day in January and here we are at the scene of the uh, tramway uh, re-railing exercise in the town. As you can see behind me, the process uh, is underway. The tarmac has been dug out, the old rails have been exposed and removed. The concrete beams upon which the rails sit have been cleaned and all the fastenings prepared and the new rails are being inserted into place. Some final adjustments uh, are being undertaken as you can see behind me. Um, the plan is that all rails will be uh, installed in the next kind of couple of weeks. Uh, it's very weather dependent uh, at times it's work so you've got to be careful that you don't put the rails in when it's too cold. Um, but once it's all fastened up um, uh, it'll be tested. We have to do track bonding which um, is to ensure that the rails have a continuous route of current through them because trams pick up on the overhead and they earth through the rails. Uh, after which once we're happy that it's all operating satisfactorily we will uh, get the contractors in to make good the surfacing, which we hope will be better than it was previously. Uh, so that will improve the, the general uh, experience for visitors as well as the uh, of the tramway. So that's the current process, uh, as long as the weather behaves itself. So this is the process then of rail bending using um, a modern version of what was called Jim Crow, which was a device for bending rails. Obviously you can bend them on the ground, but they, they don't retain any memory of that. So this uh, device imparts that memory by uh, structurally bending the rails to the uh, required radius. So it's a bit, bit trickier with this type of rail because it's grooved. As you can see, tramway rail has a, a piece on the back as well as on the front of which the wheels run, uh, which is effectively forms a check rail. But the, uh, the rails themselves, which are quite expensive, are prepared before they're placed into the ground and then they should sit with the correct radius um, and no tendency to try and straighten out, which will result in a sort of 50 pence piece shape, which we, we definitely don't want. Uh, and it also puts a lot of stress on the fastenings on the fish plates that join the rails together. So it's quite hard work, as you can see. Um, and it is, whilst it's improved by using the hydraulic rail bender, um, versus the old screw st uh, style of Jim Crow, it's still pretty physical work, quite demanding. The bending's done in increments, slowly advancing along the rail so that the curve is continuous and gradual. 